Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The carbon-based chip production line, led by the Chongqing Carbon-Based Integrated Circuit Research Institute of Peking University, was launched in Chongqing in June this year. This represents that domestic chip technology has truly achieved overtaking on the curve, getting rid of the current dilemma of silicon-based chip technology being constrained by ASML's EUV lithography machine and opening up a new path for Chinese chips. The competition of carbon-based chip technology has actually started between China and the United States several years ago. China's Peking University team is ahead by a large margin. In addition to the faster progress of the Peking University team's technology research and development, it is also inseparable from the more solid basic materials technology industry in China. In 2017, the team led by Peng Lianmao and Zhong Jiyong of Peking University had made a breakthrough in carbon nanotubes and prepared a 5 nanometer gate carbon nanotube COMS device. In 2019, the MIT team in the United States built a 16-bit processor of carbon nanotubes. Since then, the competition between China and the United States in carbon-based chip technology has mainly been between Peking University and MIT. Many papers on carbon transistors that appeared in Nature and Science magazines were also published by these two universities. In 2017, the Peking University team built a CPU consisting of about 2,500 transistors, with performance equivalent to Intel's early 80486. In 2019, MIT developed a carbon nanotube CPU with 14,000 transistors but its performance was only equivalent to 80386. The key lies in China's advantage in carbon-based materials. The purity of the carbon nanotubes built by the Peking University team in China reached 99.9999999%, while the purity of the carbon nanotubes built by the MIT team was 99.9999%. The difference in purity directly led to a huge difference in the performance of the two CPUs, highlighting that China is ahead of the United States in basic materials science. Since the Peking University team made a breakthrough in the research and development of carbon nanotube technology, the Peking University team has continued to promote the research and development of carbon-based chip technology. At the same time, the commercialization of carbon-based chips is also being promoted. In this process, the research and development of materials has become the key to commercialization. In this regard, all parties in China have worked together and steadily advanced. In 2018, China had already planned to build a 4-inch carbon-based wafer production line and soon produced a 4-inch carbon-based wafer with a gate length of 5 microns. With the successful mass production of 4-inch carbon-based wafers, supporting chip design, lithography, packaging and other technologies are also following up. These technologies insist on independent research and development, 
and completely use domestic equipment to avoid being controlled by others. However, the cost of 4-inch carbon-based wafers is still too high. For civilian use, the economic efficiency is not high, resulting in few applications of carbon-based chips in civilian use. In military and other aspects, it is said that they have been advancing, but these are not understood by the public. In 2023, a Chinese company successfully produced an 8-inch carbon-based wafer. The purity of carbon nanotubes has reached 99.9999999999% which has reached the economic cost and the chip performance has also been greatly improved the higher the purity the greater the performance improvement which is related to the characteristics of carbon nanotubes themselves which means that the commercialization of carbon based chips is coming now the Chongqing Carbon-Based Integrated Circuit Research Institute of Peking University is preparing to build the first carbon-based production line in China, which means that the commercialization process has officially begun, representing that carbon-based chips are truly mature, and perhaps civilian carbon-based chips will be seen soon. China's accelerated commercialization of carbon-based chips is also due to the urgency of the development of the domestic chip industry. Due to the constraints of ASML's EUV lithography machine, China faces huge difficulties in promoting 5 nanometer and below processes. Developing new chip materials can break through this dilemma, and the commercialization of carbon-based chips is likely to be the fastest and most successful path. The competition between the United States and China in carbon-based chips is also related to the fact that the current silicon-based chip technology is gradually reaching its limit. It is generally believed that TSMC and Intel are just digital games below 10 nanometers, not real technological breakthroughs. They just improve chip performance through other technological innovations and define it as a new generation of technology. Therefore, the United States is also promoting the research and development of new chip materials, and now it is obvious that China is ahead of the United States in new chip materials. In short, China's carbon-based chip technology has achieved overtaking in the curve. The Peking University team's carbon nanotubes with a purity of 99.999999% have crushed the United States. The mass production and commercialization of 8-inch wafers is imminent, and getting rid of the constraints of EUV lithography machines is just around the corner.